blood circulation and the production of milk. Blood circulation and the production of milk. The Qur'an was revealed 600 years before the Muslim scientist Ibn Nafis described the circulation of blood and a thousand years before William Harvey brought this understanding to the Western world. Roughly 13 centuries before it was known what happens in the intestines to ensure that organs are nourished by the process of digestive absorption, a verse in the Qur'an described the source of the constituents of milk, in conformity with these notions. To understand the Qur'anic verse concerning the above concepts, it is important to know that chemical reactions occur in the intestines and that from there, substances extracted from food pass into the bloodstream via a complex system, sometimes by way of the liver, depending on their chemical nature. The blood transports them to all organs of the body, among which are the milk-producing mammary glands. In simple terms, certain substances from the contents of the intestines enter into the vessels of the intestinal wall itself, and these substances are transported by the bloodstream to the various organs. This concept must be fully appreciated if we wish to understand the following verse in the Qur'an. And verily in cattle there is a lesson for you. We give you to drink of what is inside their bodies, coming from a conjunction between the contents of the intestine and the blood, a milk pure and pleasant for those who drink it. Al-Qur'an, chapter 16, verse 66. And in cattle too, ye have an instructive example. From within their bodies we produce milk for you to drink. There are in them, besides, numerous other benefits for you, and of their meat you eat. Al-Qur'an, chapter 23, verse 21. The Qur'anic description of the production of milk in cattle is strikingly similar to what modern physiology has discovered.